and we all know what's supposed to take place, right? So we're not gonna act a fool, right? All right, we're gonna stand and we're gonna do this peacefully and we're gonna do it right and we're gonna show people that Brockton can do it right. Right? 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 Because I've been seeing nothing but negative things on, you know, Facebook today, Instagram, Snapchat about Brockton. You know, we're gonna leave that negative stuff on social media. All right? We're gonna come here, we're gonna do this peacefully, we're gonna do it right. All right? We're gonna hold each other accountable. If you see something, say something. All right? Don't be afraid to speak up if you see something that you know isn't right, okay? That, that's on us as a community. We need to hold each other account accountable, okay? The police need to be the last resort. It's on us to hold each other accountable and be responsible for one another, all right? All right, so like I said, let's make sure that we do this right, okay? We're gonna keep it peaceful, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna be kind to one another, all right? We're gonna stand together. We're gonna support one another. We're gonna stand in unity. We're gonna love each other. Love your neighbor, even if you don't know him. All right, show them some kindness. You know, you don't know what people go through at home or what they go through at work. But we're gonna love each other and we're gonna stand together and support each other. And we're gonna stand in unity. And we're gonna show people that Brockton is unified, all right? Yes! Yeah. All right, so make some noise, y'all. I can't hear you, y'all not loud enough for me. Y'all still ain't loud enough, I can't hear you. I know y'all can be louder than that. I know Brockton is rowdy. All right, thank you. So like Ollie said, We'll be getting started right at five, okay? So I wanna see those signs held high while the people are up here speaking. I want you to encourage the people up here speaking. Respect the speakers, please. Respect the space and respect each other, all right? Yep. One more message, y'all, and then I promise we're gonna get started right at five, all right? So, I know I just named three of the house rules, but I wanna go through them one more time. Rules are important, okay? Can y'all see me? I know I'm kind of short. You wanna get on my shoulders? Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go up a little higher. Can y'all see me yes. a little bit? Yes. Hey, hey guys. All right, Ollie. Ollie, your phone locked. Oh. Sorry, y'all, your phone locked. I just wanna give you guys a few house rules and you know, just some things yeah. to consider this time, okay? Ollie. <laughs> All they got me all twisted up. Too much communication there. All right, so house rules number one, respect the speakers, respect the motion. Whoever gets up here to speak today, please remember that they're here to stand with us, okay? They're not here to go against us and to say what we're feeling is wrong and that this movement is wrong, okay? That's not what they're here to do. So respect the speakers who come up here. And for every speaker that comes up here, I want you to show them the same amount of love that you show me and Ollie. So when they come up here, I want you to cheer for them, scream for them, and hold up your signs, okay? Remember, we're all unified. I'm sorry, all the phone keeps locking. He has like, you know how you can like set like a screen lock timer? He needs to just turn it off. I'm trying to say that back. So number two, this is a peaceful event. I have to continue to reiterate that, okay? I, it's a peaceful event. Can we all say it together? It's a peaceful event. All right, we're gonna keep it peaceful. We're gonna keep it classy. We're gonna keep it cute. Here we go. All right. Keep it cute. Like I said, respect each other, respect the space. It's a peaceful event. Number three, the people that are coming up here to speak, they come from a place of peace and love, okay? We love you, and we want peace in our city, we want peace across the country, okay? So like I said, we're not up here to judge you, we're not up here to tell you however you feel is wrong. We all, we love all of you. Same way we know you guys all love us. Even though we don't know each other, we still love you. We appreciate you, all right? Number four, like I said, hold each other accountable, please. If you see something, don't be afraid to say something. We have officers here, we have um, volunteers who are also gonna be policing each other, okay? So if you see something that you think isn't right, you see something that's making you uncomfortable, you see something that you think might cause harm, please speak up. Let one of us know. Don't be afraid to come up here and pull me aside and say, Deja, I see something I don't think is right, okay? Hold each other accountable. And last but not least, please, Let's not focus on the blame, okay? That's not the point of this conversation. We're not here to keep placing blame, okay? We're here to focus on the pain and how we can heal and move forward from it, all right? So it's not gonna be any, any negative chanting. It's not gonna be any of that. It's all gonna be positive, all right? And we're gonna keep it positive. I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate every single person here, I do. I don't even know 99% of y'all, but the 1% I do know, all, all 100%. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. And I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I appreciate you. I, I, I was telling the mayor, the mayor, Sullivan, I did not 
expect this many people to be out here, Mayor. I'm sorry that this many people, but I'm happy that this many people came out. And also, guys, let's please remember, just for everybody's safety and security, please remember to keep your face mask on. I know I don't have mine on. I got asthma and I can't talk under it. All right, I'm gonna put it back on though when I'm not talking, but please keep your mask on, maintain your six feet, respect the space, respect each other, and let's just, let's have a good time and let's hear what people have to say, all right? Yeah. All right, so Brockton, make some noise. Yeah. If there's anybody in the crowd who doesn't have a mask, if you don't have one at all, and you need your face covered, please come see Rosie, Ollie, any, any of the people up here, okay? Please come see one of us, all right? Same thing with the water. If, you, if, you, if you're thirsty, come get a water. If you, want, if you need a hand sanitizer, come sanitize your hands. Like, come do it. We all, like I said, we all need to. We're here to help each other. All right. All right, Brockton, make some noise one more time. Get extra loud. Extra loud. There you go. Get rowdy. All right, we're gonna get started in a minute, I believe. One minute, I think. Exactly. About two minutes. So. Keep holding those signs up. Show, show the rest. Turn around and show the rest of Brockton y'all signs. Show them. Let them honk. Turn around, face the street, and let them see your signs. All right. Can I get your attention, Brockton? Yes! We're about to get started. My name is Pastor Drew Ambrose from Hosanna International Ministries. And we're just going to go before the Lord right now in a word of prayer. Yeah. Amen? Amen? For me, prayer is powerful. Yeah. So let's bow our heads. Father God, we come before you on this glorious afternoon thanking you, Father God. Thank you for this fellowship. Thank you for the people of Brockton, Lord. We know that something powerful is going to happen today. Strongholds will be broken today. Yeah. Racism will be cracked yes, today. Lord. Yes. Father God, we know that people are hurting, but this is a place for answers yeah. within the community. And we ask that we just listen to one another. Yeah. Listen to one another. Yeah. Listen to one another. And we pray this now in Jesus' name. We all say amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. So we're going to get started, actually. I believe it's five on the dot, all right? Yeah. So if y'all can turn this way. Can everybody hear me okay? Make some noise if you can hear me. I have a very soft voice. I'm going to do my best to speak as loud as I can, all right? So, first of all, can I just say that this is so amazing to see this many people out here. I did not, when I was playing this, I'm telling you, when I was playing this, I did not expect to see so many people. I thought about 100 people, maybe, but this is well over, and I know that people are still arriving. So, I just want to say first and foremost, I appreciate each and every person here. You know, I appreciate you for coming out and, you know, supporting. I appreciate all the people who took the time to send me a message and, you know, say, well, what can I do to help? And even the people who didn't, I appreciate your presence here. It's, it's super appreciated and it's a super humbling experience. So thank you guys. So give yourselves a loud round of applause. Thank you. I also want to give all glory to God. You know, he's the head of my life. All right. It doesn't matter what you believe in, but you got to believe in something. And, you know, I believe in God. He's the head of my life. So I want to thank him for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank my family and, you know, those who could be here, those who couldn't. I appreciate you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, you all know him. He's the leader of our city, Mayor Robert Sullivan. All right? So make some noise for him as he comes forward. Yeah.
First of all, this is what Brockton's about right here. This is what Brockton's about. If you can do this, please do this. Take a knee. Take a knee. Right now, let's all say the name, Mr. George Floyd! Mr. George Floyd! Mr. George Floyd! Mr. George Floyd! So I want to, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I want to thank all the pastors and clergy. If you were at City Hall yesterday, what we did was what Brockton's all about. We came together, it didn't matter who you were, rich, poor, what religion you were, we came together, we prayed, we offered guidance, comfort, and one thing I said, because there was a gentleman that had a shirt on, and it spoke volumes, white silence equals white consent. It's wrong, it doesn't happen. I want to... I want to thank Deja for setting this up, Ollie Spears, John Williams, just great Brocktonians. I want to thank again the elected officials. Stay up, Jerry Cassidy's here, Tim Cruz from the City Council. I see Moses Rodriguez, former mayor, Councilor at Large. Yeah. I know a lot of the elected officials are going to be here today. Brockton Police, Brockton Fire, Chief Gomes is here, Chief Williams is here. But more importantly, you are here. You are here. Yes, yes. Now is the day in the city of Brockton for positive change, collaborative change. It needs to happen and it will happen. It will only happen if we do it peacefully and together. Power in numbers, Martin Luther King said that, the doctor said that, power in numbers. These are the numbers, we have the power. We need to remember, bad things have happened. We gotta reflect that. History has not reflected it properly. Bad things have happened. Yeah. People of color have been killed. And as I said yesterday, the only difference between George Floyd's murder, and it was a murder, a murder, yeah. the only yeah. thing was that it was caught on camera. That's the only reason it was caught on camera. That's right. That's right. So, as the mayor of Brockton, and as a Brocktonian, I went to school here, I am humbly asking you, please, 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 Brockton is the best place, right? So we have to treat it that way with respect yeah. and honor. Yeah. We can't we can't let bad things happen tonight. Right. There's rumors here and there. It's about coming together, respectful protest, yeah. peaceful protest. You're gonna hear words today, scriptures, scriptures. And all I can tell you this is I'm a Roman Catholic. I went to Boston College, I was trained by the Jesuits. And one thing that the Jesuits always say is grace. Humanity is the best thing. Grace, humanity. So today, we're going to listen, we're going to learn, but we can never forget. Say it again. Mr. George Floyd! George Floyd! God bless you all. I want to say something, though. The superintendent of the schools, Mike Thomas, he helped coordinate this today. Unfortunately, I have to go right now with Mike because we're doing the school budget tonight. It's a public hearing. We need to make sure that the boys and girls in the city of Brockton get what they deserve. So, I want to just thank you. We have a great night tonight, but more importantly, we have great people. So let's listen, let's learn. God love you all, and let's make change as of tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate you. Let's give it up one more time for Mayor Sullivan. Thank you, Mayor Sullivan. Thank you. So remember I told y'all, and I'm going to keep saying it throughout this whole thing. We're keeping it what? I want to hear y'all say, we're keeping it what? Peaceful! That wasn't loud enough, so I don't believe y'all. We're keeping it what? Peaceful! All right, we're going to keep it peaceful, right? And what else are we going to do? We're going to cheer for every person who comes in here to speak, right? Yep. All right, so let's give it up for the police chief, our Brockton City Police Chief. Chief Gomez, who are you? Job, you know. <laughs> all right, Chief Jones is working hard right now to keep keep us all safe. All right, so he'll be here a little bit later on. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on. One second. It's my phone this time, y'all. All right, so where's my uncle Bishop? I know he's here. We're next. We're gonna have Bishop Harris come up and say a few words. All right, so come on, make some noise for Bishop Harris. Show your support. <laughs> Good evening, Brockton. Good evening, Brockton.
accept him. Amen. 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 Good to see everyone here. We thank God. First of all, we thank God for allowing us to be here Amen. this evening. Amen. Secondly, we thank the mayor. We thank chief police. We thank the Brockton Police Department. And most of all, we thank everybody here in Brockton, the city of champions. Come on. Give yourself. No, no. Okay. Y'all can't come to my church. Y'all can't come to my church. Because at my church, we make a whole lot of noise for Jesus. So, I need the real city of champions. Yes, 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 yes. We are champions. We are champions. And again, as as and we thank God for Deja. Give it up for Deja. For the Holy Spirit. Give it up for Ali. Amen. 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 So again, I'm just echoing. I'm just echoing what has been stated thus far. Amen. We're not here. We're not here to uh, 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 to condemn. The brought the police department. We're not here to condemn them. We're not here. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. I'm going to preach it. Y'all got to say amen. 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 <laughs> We're not here to condemn them. But we are here to charge them. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? We are here to challenge them. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? And we're here to connect with them. Amen. 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 To connect so that that we can stay together. Our city is great and is going to be greater because when we're all together, we're better together. And so we're here. We're not here for a riot. No, we're here to register. Register and go and vote after this. Y'all ain't saying amen to me. We're not here, amen, for all the passion. We're here for the passion, but we're here to take that passion to the pole. Y'all ain't talking amen to me. If we really want to change something, we're not here just for a rally. This is nice. This is wonderful. Good to see y'all. But I'm just not here for a rally. I'm here for a rally today, but a round table tomorrow. Yes, this is great, wonderful, but we must sit down as brothers and sisters with all the leaders and all of the people and talk about what is right, talk about what is wrong, talk about who needs, can we keep it real? Come on, come on. Come on, who needs to go? Don't, don't look at your neighbor, don't look at your neighbor, don't look at your neighbor, but somebody may have to go. If they're not doing right in our city. Can I get an amen? So the last time I checked, Brockton is the city of champions. And since we are, and since we are champions, as I close, since we are champions, we set the standards for other cities and other states. Since we are champions. So right now, let me hear you shout, Champions of Peace! Champions of Peace! What? Champions of Peace! What? Champions of Peace! What? Champions of Peace! What? Champions of peace. Say it loud! Champions of peace. Say it proud! Champions of peace. Say it loud! Champions of peace. Say it proud! Champions of peace. Amen, amen. So again, this is wonderful. But let's do this again. But this time, and again, and again, but this, the next time, let's put some issues on the tape. I don't mind rallying and marching, but we need to make some changes. Can I get an amen? God bless you. Keep the peace. Keep the love. In fact, let's act like we're in church. Look at the person next to you and say, neighbor. God loves you.
Tell them, let them know we're black and we're proud. Let them know. We're black and we're proud, right? Let them right, Boston? Yeah. Come on. We're black and we're proud, right, Boston? Yeah. No, still not loud enough. We're black and we're proud, right, Boston? Yeah. Come on, come on. I know you guys can do a lot better than that because Boston gets rowdy, right? We get down. So say one more time. We're black and we're proud, right, Boston? Yeah. Yeah. It's about working together, it's about crossing the aisle. That's what it's about. That's how we create change. You can pick up a rock and break a window, but what are you doing? Pick up a paint and create legislation. That's what you need to do. You need to change the laws. If you don't like what's going on, you change the DA. If you don't like what's going on, you change the mayor. If you don't like what's going on, you change the governor. If you don't like what's going on, you change the president. Dot on the map, but that's all right. We're gonna show people who that dot is about, all right? Yeah. 
We're going to tell me what broccoli is about. We're going to show them that we're different and that we can do things peacefully. And we're not going to let anybody come in and ruin that. Nope. We're going to keep it peaceful like this and we're all going to stand together and hold each other accountable, all right? Yeah. So like I said, if you see something, say something. It's all right. It ain't snitching. It's the right thing to do. So if you see, even if you don't want to talk to none of the you know, law enforcement or any other yeah. security, come see me. I'll, you can come walk right up here and tap me on the shoulder and tell all right? Tell Ollie. So again, we're going to stay what tonight? Peaceful. All right, I couldn't hear y'all because y'all focused on the traffic. Y'all need to be focused on what we're talking about. We're going to stay what tonight? Peaceful. All right, I know I got a soft voice, so I need y'all to yell for me. All right, so. Thank you, Rosie. We're going to be peaceful. So next up, we're going to have two of Brockton's finest come up. Yeah. All he's going to do a quick introduction on them, but I, like I said, y'all keep showing them love, okay? The Brockton police, they're out here to stand with us and to support us because they believe in the same things that we believe in, all right? So when they come up here, don't be disrespectful. Remember, respect the space. Respect what they have to say. Respect the speakers, all right? So we're going to let Ollie give a brief introduction. Coming up right now, everybody knows her, loves her. Officer Rosie Vasquez Brown, let me give you a little story about her. Officer Rosie Brown. When you say community policing, she's community policing. When kids need toys at Christmas, she's giving toys. When people need to eat for Thanksgiving, she's cooking turkeys. When people need to eat, when people need shelter or anything like that, Rosie's there with Project Guardian Angel. She's been doing this for over 18 years. She's with the Bronx Police Department. We love her. Yeah. I'm the first girl goes when I was two years old, she's my babysitter. Racism. 
it touched me as a little girl because I was a spick. I was an effing Puerto Rican. Go back to where you came from. That's what I encountered. But also, and this is the God to honest truth because this is part of my story. When you call the police, you had to be sure that somebody was going to get an ass whooping. Okay, so you didn't call the police. So when I heard all kinds of stories back then, as in if you went to the police department and you needed to report something and you didn't speak English, what they heard was go back to your effing country. This is America, speak English, learn English. So my sister Maji at the time became a police officer way back when. She used to watch Charlie's Angels, by the way. So she convinced me to become a police officer. Her words were this. Why don't you become a police officer? And I said, are you crazy? I hate those effing pigs. I hate those cops. They're this, they're that. Her answer was, think about it. Instead of bitching about it, you can change things. Amen. And I thought about it. And you know what? I said, you are right. So instead of complaining, I can change things. And I think I did. And it has. So at that time, I convinced my other sister, Carmen, to become a police officer. And guess what, people? We became the first three minority sisters in the whole country. Nosotros 
somos diferentes. Nosotros no somos como ese que mató a ese pobre hombre. So, por favor, please do not put us in that same category. Please do not. Thank you, Brockton. I love you.
Wow, we heard some powerful words so far, right? Yeah. Yeah. How we feeling? Yeah. 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 I don't know, I only heard the front and then I heard Jeff. So I need all y'all to make some noise. How we feeling? Yeah. Yeah. We're excited for some changes, right? Yeah. To see something new, right? Yeah. All right. Officer Rosie had one more thing that she wanted to say, and that's about the diversity in the city of Brockton. And, um, Brockton Police Department, you know? You know, in the past, we haven't always seen it, you know, be so diverse, but I want to assure everybody that now, you're starting to see a lot of the 90s babies, right? Join yeah. the police force, right? I see yeah. a lot of the 90s babies out there now. And I see a lot of Cameroonians and Africans, and Haitians, and Hispanics, and, you know, uh, I see all people who I, honestly, because where I'm from, we didn't know anything outside of, you know, the hood. So I'm starting to see a, a whole lot of more cultures joining the police force now. Yeah. So now, don't be afraid to, you know, if you need to report something to police, there are people there who can help you. You just saw Rosie, she's Hispanic. She came up here and she just spoke to y'all and told y'all she speaks Spanish and it's new, okay? Things are changing. Don't give up, y'all. Do not give up. Things are changing and we're gonna see a change. And we're gonna continue to see changes. Just because, you know, things get scary right now. Yeah, it's scary. And you know, yes, it's murder. But you know what? We need to keep having these conversations, guys. Continue to have these conversations with each other, okay? She's, I know, I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I took over, I took over her thing, but she's still gonna say something. Cause I like when Rosie talks. I don't know about y'all, but I like when Rosie talks, all right? I'm sorry, folks. That's the most important thing that I left out was that way back then, mm -hmm. there was one Puerto Rican police officer, Lucky Luciano. That was it, but guess what? 2020, we have black, Spanish, Haitian, Dominican, we have Asian, Costa Rican, we have everything in the mix now. So yes, things have changed. It has, for the better. So you know what? I gotta say it, sorry. Instead of bitching, let's do something about it. Let's make changes. Let's get involved. Let's do that. Let's do it the right way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Officer Rosie. Two quick announcements for you guys. Number one, as you see, we have this beautiful, this simple and beautiful sign that says I matter, right? We also have a station up here where if you didn't bring a sign today, but you want to have a sign, you know, to take home, come up and make a sign. Don't think that because I'm talking or whoever's up here talking that you can't come make a sign. Come make a sign. Huh? Oh, single file though. Single file. Please. Don't be knocking each other over, y'all. I know. Brockton boxes. I know y'all in the house somewhere, but don't be knocking each other over. Where are they going? Where are they going? They can't march. Are they marching? Guys, I want to remind everybody if you guys can all face me this way, even the people in the very back, can you face me up here? I know I'm short. I can't get any much higher, but I know you can hear me. I want to remind you guys this is not a march. We are not marching, we're here to stand here and have this conversation and stand in unity. I want to remind everybody of that. Okay, please, don't leave. We're here to fellowship, we're here to unify. Don't leave. Don't leave. I don't see any of y'all leaving. Don't if they leave. want to march, that's fine. God bless them, I hope that they stay safe marching. But I want all of you that I can see, I want you guys to stay here and hear the conversation. And like I said, hold each other accountable, all right? I appreciate you guys for being here. I appreciate those of you who are staying and listening and, you know, taking this seriously. This is a serious conversation that we need to have. All right? It's a serious problem. And there are different ways to protest, you know. We may not agree with all of it, and that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their emotions. But guess what? We're going to do it the right way today. We're going to do it the right way here. All right? And we're going to keep doing it the right way. We've been resilient for 400 plus years. Guess what? We can keep being resilient for 400 more. That's right. So we're going to keep standing together. We're going to keep fighting together. So I ask that you guys, please don't leave. Don't start marching. It's it's not safe. I want to keep everybody here safe, okay? We're not marching. We're staying here. Don't leave, all right? If I got to if I gotta come and hold your hand myself to make sure you don't leave, I will come hold your hand. But I'm asking you guys, please don't leave. I want to keep everybody here safe. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. I want to keep all of you safe, all right? All right, make some noise for yourself one more time, y'all. I want to bring up a very, very, you know, before I bring up um, one of our, another one of Rocky's finest, I want to bring up a very, 
a person who's very yeah. near and dear to my heart. He's known me since I was like this day. You know, his wife, she basically raised me because I didn't have no mama, but she raised me. All right, so y'all, if you, a lot of y'all know him. Make some noise for John Williams, y'all. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Make some noise for John Williams, y'all. Get loud. Peace. Once again, man, I, once again, I don't, I don't know how I find myself in these situations and find myself up here, but those that know me, you know, man, I'm not protests and rallies, I'm not about it. We got to do the work every single day. Um, we have Champion City Mentor Program in this city. We're contracted with Brockton Public Schools. We're in the schools every single day. Um, the, the organization started specifically helping young black males. It has grown. Now we, we, we offer our services to everyone. I'm glad to see a lot of my young guys, men, that have been through the program out here exercising their right. Um, guys that have graduated. Got a guy that just told me he wants to be a police officer. That's how we make a change. That's how we make a change. That's how we make a change. We got to come together. We live in a special place. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We live in a special place. Where are we at? Rockton! Rockton! Nah, man. Where are we at? Rockton! Where are we at? Rockton! I'm from Brockton, Mass, y'all. Yes! I'm from Brockton, Mass, the city of champions, y'all. Hey, if you wanna, if you're a racist in Brockton, I'm gonna put it out there. If you're racist in Brockton, you intentionally want it to be. Cause this is a special place, y'all. Hey, listen, look. Look, you can go to New York City. You can go to Philadelphia. You can go to Miami. They got diversity there. They got Italian neighborhoods. They got Jewish neighborhoods. They got Spanish neighborhoods. Not here in Brockton. Not here in Brockton. You grow up with everybody right next to you. Hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tell all my black people. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I know some good white people. I know some good black people. Yeah. I'm gonna tell both of y'all. I know some good K Verdians. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tell all three of y'all. I know some good Haitians. and hit Deja up. Don't just be out here yelling and screaming. Don't just be marching. And definitely, definitely, absolutely, I'm not asking. I'm not asking for you to be peaceful. I'm saying it. Anybody destroy anything in my city, you're going to run into me. We got a whole team out here. Don't let them. Yo, 
young people, young people out there, this is the time to understand what this is about. This ain't about looting and getting free stuff. This isn't about getting in the face of the police, clout chasing, trying to get them to do something to react so you can be on Facebook getting beat up. That's not what this is about. This is about change and it starts now. You want to make a difference with the police? You want to make a difference with the police? Don't get in their face. You know what you do? You sign your name on that paper. You tell Deja, you tell Arlie, you tell all these leaders out here. All these leaders saying that they're your leaders, you go to them. You say, I want you to be my leader right now. Right now. I want you to get Bob Sullivan, who is up here. I want you to get Mayor Go uh, Chief Gomes to the table. I want you to get all these city councilors that are here. I want them at the table now. now. I want them there now. I want to sit down. I want to talk about what needs to change in the Brockton Police Department now. now. You want to make a difference? Do that. Now. Do that. But when we come together and we get all these beautiful faces out here in this city together, and we get all this energy here together, the one thing we cannot do, the one thing that makes us weaker is to divide ourselves. It's to put a, something in between us that says, you know what, I'm not gonna be with you on this for this reason. I'm not gonna be with you on this for that reason. Listen, I've been in this city a long time. I've dealt with a lot of people. People know, hey, I may rub people the wrong way. Hey, that's your problem. But, but, when it's time to get it cracking, I'm at the table. Everyone needs to be there. Let's go. We can do this, but let's do it the right way. Let's be smart. Let's be strategic. Anybody, especially my black men out there, you want something to do? Contact me. I got a plan. It's in action right now. It's been in action for 10 years. We can't do this by reacting when someone dies. We got to do it consistently every single day. You want to know where I'm at? I'm on the front lines every day. Whoever wants to join me, holler. Senator, I love our city council members, all right? 
Make some noise for the city of Brockton, y'all. Let them hear you. so far good? Amazing. This week is some real work, right? Amazing. To be real with y'all. That's what we're here to do. We're here to be real with each other and stand together, all right? Remember that. I, I told y'all, y'all gonna get sick of my mouth and be saying it, but I gotta say it one more time. Hold each other accountable, all right? And we're here to be peaceful, right? So we're here to be what? Peaceful. That's still not loud enough. Come on, Brockton, y'all get rowdy. We're here to be what? Peaceful. And we're going to keep it peaceful, right? Yeah. And we're going to stay here. We're going to show people Brockton is different. And we can do it different. And we're going to keep doing it differently. All right? Make some noise, y'all. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know I got a lot of family around the city. We're not all blood, but we're all family, right? That's what Brockton is, it's family, right? Yeah. Hey, Auntie Peggy. Hey, girl. This next person, another amazing man in blue. He works hard for the city, a black man in blue. Y'all give it up for Officer Antonio Randolph. Come on, Uncle Tony, up here. Make some noise, y'all. Come on, get loud, y'all. Make some noise for the brother. After Mr. Williams spoke, I, I don't even know what to say. After, after Mr. Williams spoke, I don't know what to say. Y'all can't hear me? No! Speak up! Speak up! I'm talking loudly now. Listen, this is what I want to say. I just want to thank everybody out here for coming out. I want to let you know that me and, and the men and women that I serve with, we stand in solidarity with everyone here. We want the same thing you want. Peace and equality and justice for all. Yeah. I don't know what they meant when they woke up in the Constitution if it was really intended for me. But I'm here. And because I'm here, I fall under the same rules and guidelines as everybody else does. But what this is what I want to say, because the pastor came up early and he said, I, he wanted to charge us. He wanted to charge the police department, which was good. But I'm going to ask everybody here, how, what is the best way? And I've heard other people talk about it. They said, well, how, what is the best way to affect change? Ollie said, if you don't like the president, vote. Change the president. If you don't like the governor, change that. If you don't like the mayor, change that. But I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down and leave it a little bit more. If you don't like any behavior that somebody's doing to you, whether it be somebody that looks like me in blue, become a part of that organization so you can make change, so you can make sure that the next person doesn't get treated that way. That's why I put on this uniform. And I can guarantee you today, nobody out here can ever say, they saw me disrespected. I write a lot of tickets, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I do. I do. I do. But speak is speak. It is what it is. But I don't go out disrespecting nobody because I got a mama, I got a father, I got a brother, I got a sister, and I want you to be treated just like my family should be treated. I want you to be treated right. Now, we're out here. Hundreds are out here. We've talked about a lot of different things. How we can affect change. How we can implement ourselves into different systems. And how we can make a change through that. But I'm going to also go a little further with that. It's not enough for us to sit out here right. and have a rally. Right. Root, toot your horns, hold your signs. That's not enough. That's not enough. If you want change, change has to be something that I heard my man Ollie say. It has to be continual. Right. We got to sit down and have conversations. Public, public officials, police, community, 
talked about the issues, address them. And then that's how we make a change. I'm not looking to make a change in the whole world. I got to stop right here where I live. I got to stop right here where I serve. This is where you live. This is where you serve. This is where you can make the most effect. This is where you can affect the most, right here in the city of Rockton, where you live, where your kids go to school. What good does it do for us to go and tear up the drugstore where, my, where your grandmother, my grandmother, got to go get her prescription from? Come on, now. How much sense does that make? That doesn't make any sense. But what does make sense is real change. Real change doesn't start from that, from violence. That's not how real change starts. Real change starts by the means and the things that people have said up here all day. Make yourself a part of that system. Infiltrate yourself into that system. Get into that system. Become a part of that Take the test. You want to know how to become a police officer? I do recruiting all the time. And I try to get young black people, people of color, to take the test to come on this job. You want to find out? Come talk to me. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll give you that advice. And I'll mentor you along, along the way. I have no problem with it. I walk across with people. Beautiful crowd. Beautiful crowd. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I love you. And if you ever see me, let me tell you something. Don't speak. Don't be speaking. Let me tell you something. Don't speak. Don't speak. I am not above reproach. Everybody can have a bad day. I remember I was at Market Basket one day. I'm at Market Basket a lot. I'm there a lot. And I don't know, it was one of those days, and I think it was the, the way I said something to this individual. And the person said, well, you don't have to talk to me like that. And you know what? I kind of caught myself. And you know what I did? I went right back to that person. I said, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't have to talk to that. And that's OK. That's OK. It's OK to make a mistake. But you got to realize when you make a mistake, and then you got to own it. And then you got to do something to change that behavior going forward. That's what we have to do. Because I'll tell you right now, we are better than what they broadcast. We are better than what they broadcast. And when you know better, when you know better, you got to do better. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Officer Randolph. Come on, y'all. Make some noise. Let's go! I'm loving this crowd, y'all. Y'all are a beautiful crowd. I, I cannot say that enough. Y'all are beautiful. Now, I know some of y'all are sick of me saying it, so can y'all say it for me so I don't have to say it? We're going to do what? Peaceful! That's not loud enough. We're going to do what? Peaceful! Ah, y'all can do it a little bit better. One more time. We're going to be what? Peaceful! All right, y'all got it. I don't need to say nothing else because y'all got Y'all know. Y'all. Give y'all something around the wall, Brockton. Come on, y'all. Make some noise. If you have a sign, hold it up high. Because we're. Wow! Oh my God! Look around at yourselves, y'all! Make some noise! Come on, make some noise! Look at, look at this! Look at these signs! Oh my goodness! Y'all are beautiful! 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 So, wait, y'all, y'all need to tell me y'all had these signs and was holding them down on the ground where I couldn't see or we couldn't see them? Come on, y'all. Hold them up high. Be proud of your signs. Be proud of what we're fighting for and what we're standing for. Hold those signs high and be proud. All right, y'all? Give yourself some noise, y'all. Come on, make some noise. Wow. I am... I am perplexed. I am excited about these signs. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like stuck, I'm stuck on these signs, there's hundreds. I want you guys to look around at each other and at your signs. And look at, look at all your, look at all your skin colors. Your skin colors don't matter, you know why? We all want the same thing here, right? We all standing for the same thing here, right? So look at your signs. I see people black, white, Hispanic. 
Haitian, African, I see mixed mixed race, whatever you are, I see you. And I see your signs and they're beautiful to see. Oh my God, my heart is so warm by this. This is all we need. All right, y'all. Come on, y'all, make some noise and turn back this way, y'all. Wow. We gonna do that one. We gonna at the end of this, we gonna do the sign thing one more time because y'all, I need pictures. I need pictures of all these signs. All right, all right. We have another beautiful black woman. I don't know if y'all heard me. I said a beautiful black woman. All right, there you go. All my people in there, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All the black women, can y'all say period? All right, make some noise for the beautiful black woman. Y'all get up from this jacket, all right? Make some noise. Good evening. We are here, we are here, mainly in tribute to George Floyd. Can we say his name? George Floyd! Can we say his name again? George Floyd! Can we say his name one more time? George Floyd! Thank you. I want to thank the organizers of this event. This does my heart warm seeing this happen. My family moved to Brockton in July of 1968. April of 1968, what major event, what major black figure was killed? Martin Luther King. King. So if you can imagine the pain, the frustration, was very, very real when we came to Brockton. There has been many things said about Brockton, but I want to remember the city of Champion. That's not by accident. So what made me decide to come back, I've been in Atlanta for 10 years. One of the things that made me kind of come back is hearing about people that are not from Brockton speaking for Brockton and about Brockton. Don't speak if you don't know. If you're not authentic, you don't know, rather than you not say anything, okay? There's a saying, it is better than you be quiet and people think that you're a fool, rather than you open your mouth and remove all doubt. So at this time, young people, I want to impress upon you that George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, the list could go on. I would probably be here until tomorrow morning if I kept speaking about the unarmed black and brown men and women that have been killed by the police. But what I say to you is that in tribute to them, it's not about taking sneakers. In tribute to George Floyd, it's not about smashing into the Okay? It's not about Today, if anyone here, they have found people that came to the protest with frozen water bottles, that came with little bottles of gasoline, that came with probots. What were you coming to do? Destruction. And I'm sorry that you did not have a mother or a grandmother that loved you enough to make you home. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But my sister in the guidance council, that's not my way. I'm saying that we need to respect those that we claim that we're here to honor, we have to respect them. How to respect them? Through our very lives. You are either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. There's no in between. So you have to figure out. This is Brockton. I'm holding my ground. Anybody in military, you know, they tell you, you do not give up one inch. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Brockton is a city. Born here, those of you that are born here, I came when I was 10, but I feel this is home. Claim Brockton, reclaim Brockton. How? By doing the right thing. Yeah. By doing the right thing, and guess what? Being responsible for your neighbor. I like Tony, who's one of my kids in the youth group. Uh, when he said, you're only one person, there is a saying, it says, I am only one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something, and I will not let that which I can do be interfered by that which I can't do. I am only one, but I can do something. So when I was young too, a long time ago, Jesus was a baby, right around that time, right? My first job was to wait to set the last supper. But anyway, be that as it may, when, when I heard about this activity, I decided I want to be here because this is where each one really can touch someone else. So if you have a friend 
that is doing something that you know is not good, you have one or two choices. You can help him or her to further destruction by being silent, or you can try to pull them into life by saying, listen, I'm your real friend, I don't want you to do this, to hurt yourself or hurt someone else. I don't know how many of you have ever seen anybody walk down the street and you say, I know that person doesn't have friends. Who would let them go out the house looking like that, right? Well, that's the same way. If you are truly someone's friend, you're not going to allow them to do anything that's going to harm them. The Native Americans talk about generations. Seven generations. And what they say is, how different would things be do, would, would things people do yeah, if yeah. they thought about the effect on seven generations? Yeah, right. So here I am. If I decided to do something, I have to think about my mom, my grandparents, my children, my grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Think how many things we do differently if we thought about what would be the effect on each generation. So I'm asking you, I thank you for your passion. Everyone has an opportunity to make a difference in your own way. The issue when I was at Brockton High was our IDs. We refused to carry our IDs because they were the same IDs that our people were required to carry in South Africa. At that time, if you were a black person in South Africa, even a white child as young as two years old could come up to you and demand to see your ID. And if you did not show it, you were subject to arrest, imprisonment, and possibly not being seen again. So at Brockton High School, we cut up our ID. That was our way of protesting. We used our voice. You're here tonight. Use your voices. Do it for good. Thank you, organizer. Skiwi, I'm sorry. This is a great plan. Skiwi. Y'all give up to Miss Jackie one more time, y'all. So next to me, next to me y'all, I have a very strong, beautiful nine-year-old yeah. up here. Don't see her sign. For the people who can't see, I know I got bad eyes myself, and I'm standing here, I'm squinting. But it says, I am black history. Yeah. All of y'all are black history. All right? All of you. You being here, we're making more black history. We're making history for our city. I want to encourage you guys to continue to make history. Please remember, I can't reiterate this enough. I'm not going to say be peaceful because y'all do that already, right? Yes. But I am going to reiterate, this is not a march. We're not leaving the site, okay? We're standing here and we're standing in unity. And I want to keep reminding you guys of that. If people want to leave, God bless you and be safe. But we're here to stand together. Show people. Show people. Hold up your signs! Hold up your signs! Face it to the street! Face it to the Face street! Face the street, y'all! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Show them! Turn around! 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 All right, y'all. So, don't no, no, don't turn back around. I like what y'all are doing. Keep facing that way. Say it again. No justice, no peace. What? Y'all not loud enough. No justice, no peace. All right, y'all. Make some noise. Y'all can face back this way. I'm sorry, y'all. The microphone down. Alright y'all. Y'all can turn back around now. If you want to. If you want to keep facing the street, I appreciate it. But y'all can face back this way, y'all. So y'all see these signs up here? Well, I don't know why Jeff is up here. He don't have a sign. But y'all, how we feeling? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling passionate? We know what we're fighting for, right? All right. Now, like I was saying before, you know, this microphone battery died. Y'all know they need AA batteries. 
If anybody out there got double A batteries, can you bring them up here? Because if this dies again, then I don't know what to tell y'all. So I can show. I got a bike. I can't yell very loud. My, those of you who know me, I'm not a, a loud person. I'm loud. What am I saying? But y'all see these signs? She said, "I am Black History." Yeah. All right. His says George Floyd. I can't breathe. Love, not hate. And that's what we're here to remind each other. All right. We're here to love each other, not hate each other. It's not about us versus them. It's not black and black versus white. It's not us versus the police. Right. It's all of us against racism. And that's something we need to remember. All right. Make some noise, y'all. Y'all not loud enough. I understand it's, it's exciting and you're getting distracted, but I need y'all to make some noise. Come on, y'all. You can be loud enough. Yeah. So we're going to have Jamal. Where'd he go? We're going to have Jamal from Bridgewater State. A white Acura truck. A uh, 1GD. 1GD. M41. M41. We need you to move your white Acura truck. You're blocking somebody. Okay. White Acura truck. All right, y'all. Y'all make some noise for Jamal from Bridgewater State. First of all, where are my BSU people? Second of all, where's all my colleagues, educated brothers and sisters? Where y'all? Right, y'all? We're pulling the statistics, right, y'all? All right. Y'all, make some noise again for Jamal. Give it up. I just, I just want to make sure everybody's aware of themselves. So if you mad, I want you to put your fist in the air. I want everybody to make sure they're aware of themselves right now. If you mad, make sure you put your hands in the air. This is a very, very big, pivotal moment for all of us in this crowd right now. You know, I've been waiting a while to come up here and say something, you know, because I saw this happen and I said I had to come do something. I'm an art teacher and a couple of my friends are art teachers, so we brought all these art supplies to support you guys. But I love the signs and I love that everybody came prepared, but I like to see that everybody knows that they matter. And there's one thing, a big message that I wanted to get across to everybody that's out here, and you may hate it, but you need to understand that every single young person in this crowd, you need to go get your education. You need to make sure you're getting that knowledge, because without that knowledge, you won't know what to do. Without that knowledge, you won't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys, you made hate school. Everybody's virtually teaching right now. They're doing that virtual learning, it sucks. None of my eighth graders show up to class, right? But what it is, Every single person, every young person in this crowd, you need to make sure you get your education, you get your knowledge up, because you do not want to get caught without the information you need to get through the, 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 the struggles or whatever may come your way, all right? So that's what I want to come up here and say, and I'm going to quickly pass it to my other MIB brother here, Looney. What up, Listen, man, I went to West middle school man and to be here right now to be here right now standing where I was a knucklehead and just doing crazy shit yo to be here right here right now is crazy I used to walk down the street all the time smoking weed doing crazy shit and to be here right now is powerful Listen, man, I'm hearing all these things about this and that. Listen, please just listen to me. Before anything, we need to put God first. We need to put God first. Because he's the one that created all of us. I'm sorry to say I'm not putting anything past what's going on. I'm just saying we need to put God first. Because... Once you put him first, then the change comes. Moses was black. Once you put him first, then the change comes. Okay? And I'm telling you, man, once you put him first, then the change comes. It's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? We have been so far from God, man. Look around. You have a liquor store in every corner. 
You have people in the streets. You're killing yourself. Wake up. I was near. So I understand. My family is there. I'm sick of it. I'm done. Okay? We need to put God first. Because he is the one that created us. All praise is due to him. I'm sorry to say it like this, but this is the only way y'all are going to hear me right now. Look at, look, just look around, man. Look, just, I just want y'all, after this, look around. Is this the world y'all want? We got people in the streets killing themselves. So, that's all I want to say. And I know it's not easy. Trust me, I've been there. I've been there, I'm still going through it. I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. Hey man, I'm trying, and y'all can do the same, man. Look, look, just like my, just like my brother Michael Jackson said, oh man, rest in peace to Mike, man, I love him. Just like he said, look at the man in the mirror, and the woman in the mirror. Let's wake up, people. That's all I gotta say. Everybody give it up for Rudy. And one more time, if you matter, make sure you're aware of yourself. I want everybody to put their fist in the air. If you matter, be aware of who you are. Be aware of where you come from. Be aware of the people who love you. Be aware of who's in your corner. Because those people will be there for you forever. Be aware of all of that. Remember that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, definitely, definitely. We're about to wrap this up. I just want to say one thing. If you want change, the change starts with you. If you want change, the change starts with you. And then it starts with your neighbors. And then it starts in your neighborhood. And then it starts in your city. And that's how you create change. That's how you make it. That's how you do it. We gotta do it together. So we're in this together, right? Yeah. Are we in this together? Yeah. I messed it up before, but I'm gonna try it again. Okay, Alright, I'm gonna bring up Bishop. Bishop Tony Blair is coming to his closing remarks and after that I'm gonna to say some words. Let us bless the Lord by giving yeah. Jesus Christ a hand clap. Yeah. Let us bless the Lord by giving Jesus Christ a hand clap. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. For whomever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you believe that, say amen. I, I was not expecting to speak, uh, but all day I have been studying the last words of the departed. And I want to let you all know that George Floyd said some very important words that should be rendered in your heart forever. This man said, and, and I need y'all to repeat it after me so you don't forget it when you leave here. My face, man. I, you know what, I'm gonna say something. Y'all don't mistreat, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Nobody's gonna mess up the function that is happening right now. Repeat after me. George Floyd said, Man, my face hurt. I did nothing serious. Please, please, please. I can't breathe. Please, please, please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Man, I can't breathe. Man, my face, I can't breathe. knows what that means when you call on mama. Mama! 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 mama. mama. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. My stomach! My stomach! I'm claustrophobic! I'm claustrophobic! My stomach hurts! My stomach! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! You're killing me! You're killing me! You're killing me! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Please! 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 I can't breathe! I can't breathe! If you don't know why you're here, it is because
because a black man could not breathe and die. Do you hear me what I'm telling you? In 2013, the scientists in the United States of America did some research. They did some research on something that is called the mitochondrial DNA. And what that DNA revealed was 150,000 years ago in Africa. Every single person that we call the human race came from this dust in the black woman. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. So when I heard the speaker say that I'm black and I'm proud, it resonated in my spirit. Because everyone in here, black and white, is from Africa. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm proud. destroy our community. Lord, we walk out of here with faith. Lord, we walk out of here believing that the blood will protect us. Lord, we walk out of here believing that your spirit will heal us. Lord, we ask that you reach out to the Floyd family right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you reach out to the police officers that are doing their job on a daily basis. But Lord, we ask that you move in the governance of the community that they may know that no longer are we going to tolerate abuse. Lord, we know we are no longer slaves, but we are children of God. Lord, as the children of God leave this place, cover them with the anointing, cover them with your blessing, and let the chain of slavery end in our community, that we may walk in the footsteps of righteousness. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, Holy Spirit, be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, you are my rock and my redeemer. I want y'all to walk out of here. I want y'all to walk out of here and be blessed. Be blessed. Don't be encouraged by anybody that's going to tell you to tear down the city. That's craziness. Although I lived in Brockton Brockton now for 33 years, I'm a homeowner in Brockton, but I'm raised in Roxbury. And I'm willing to let you know, you, you fools that were down at the station, breaking out windows all the way down Newberry Street, just to steal some hundred dollar sneakers, didn't make any sense at all. You are stealing, you are stealing the message from us. Please stop it. Please stop it. Brother John Williams said it best. You all need to pay attention and come up with a plan. That's what's important. In Jesus' name, you are released. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're bringing up to the stage our closer, the woman of the hour. But before I bring her up, I just want to let you know once we disperse, I need everybody to leave peacefully. Go in your cars, walk home. Make sure our city stays intact. Make sure your city stays intact. Make sure my city stays intact. Make sure we're doing this in the name of peace, right? Make sure we do this in the name of peace, right? Yeah. This is your city. If you see something, run, let us know. Deja, you got that right now, bring up Deja. Deja, bring us home, please. What's up, y'all? Give it up, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all still not loud enough after all this time. Come on, y'all. Give it up. Make some noise, y'all. That's what I like to hear. Now, I won't be before y'all long, I promise. I know it's not dark, but I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. All right, I'm not tired, I'm tired, all right? It's been a long 24 hours for me, but you know what? It was worth it. The last 24 hours have been worth it. To stand here and see all of your beautiful faces, it has been worth it. I just want to make that very clear that all of you are worth it to me. And can I just say, first, first and foremost, giving all glory and honor to God. He's ahead of my life. I am who I am because of who he is, all right? All right. Second, I want to thank my beautiful family who's here. I see my sister back there. I know my mother is around here somewhere. I know my father's around here somewhere. I want to thank them. And lastly, I want to thank all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause. 
Without all of you, this would, this event tonight would not be possible. I want to thank Ollie Spears also. Without, give it for Ollie, y'all. Give it for Ollie. Ollie saw something small that I wanted to do. It was not, y'all, when I tell you it was not supposed to be this big with the news and the, the drones, I don't know where they went, but it was not supposed to be this big, y'all. I was not prepared for this. But you know what? Because Ollie reached out to me and he saw something, he believed in me. Y'all give it up for Ollie. Yeah. Paper because I, when I was on my way here, the paper flew out the window. No, I'm kidding. 
I'm serious. I'm like trying to look at it and drive and like, okay, gotta talk, introduce this person. And, and then next thing you know, it flew out my hand and flew out the window. But you know what? It was God's grace. Because God wanted me to speak from my heart to you guys and say what I felt and what was honest and real for me. And what's real for me is going to be real for you guys too. And the only thing I can ask of you guys to do is stand in your truth. Whatever is real for you, stand in it and live in it. Now, I need a couple things from y'all because y'all know I like noise. I'm not a loud person, but I like noise. We're not marching. Can you remind no, or also marching. remind you before, before we do anything, we're not marching. We're not, marching. We're not doing that. When you leave here, you go home and you reflect on what you heard today. And you, and you think about it. And if you still have questions, reach out to me. But we're not marching, okay? If you need my email, I'm gonna, I, I'll spell it out for you because a lot of people don't know how to spell my name. People spell Deja all types of ways, so. I'll spell it out for you at the end before we leave here, all right? Sound good? Yeah. All right. First thing I want to say is, my black women, black, Hispanic, Cape Verdean, can y'all ladies make some noise, please? I want, first of all, I know I said black, Cape Verdean, Hispanic. I want all of my women here to make some noise. Now, to all my beautiful black, Hispanic, and white brothers, can y'all make some noise? Yeah. Come on, y'all. I see a lot of my brothers in that. Y'all can make a little bit more noise than that. Come on, y'all. What my brothers at? Make some noise. Yeah. Now, my black brothers, white brothers, Hispanic brothers, can all of y'all please, all the brothers, just look around you. You see all these women out here? We got your back. We have your back. No one's going to have their knee in your neck when I'm standing next to you. No one's going to have their foot on your face when I'm standing next to you. And no one's going to put a gun to your head when I'm standing next to you. You see all these women? We got your back. All my brothers, I love all of you. I do. To all my sisters, keep fighting for your brothers. Keep fighting for the men that we love, our black men, our Hispanic men, our Native American men, American men, our Haitian men, our African men, and our white men. We need to keep fighting for them. They feel lost in this world. They feel like they don't have nobody, but guess what? They have us. They have us. All right? We have each other. So everybody do a quick little spin around and look at the people around you. You see all the people around you? All your neighbors? Guess what? They have your back. City of Brockton, we need to have each other's back. Yes, sir. We need to continue to have each other's back. We need to continue to have faith in each other. The Bible says faith without work is dead. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's right. All right? That's right. I don't know if y'all heard me. And it's okay. Not everybody believes in the same thing I do, and I love you because of our differences. But for my, for my people who be up in church, for my Baptist people and my Kojic people, guess what? The Bible says faith without work is dead. We need to have faith in this movement and in this process. And guess what? It's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. It's going to be a lot of tears and a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. Like I said, I was crying this morning, y'all. I've been crying for the last week. I'm devastated. I'm devastated. The countless amount of people that we don't know, that aren't in the media, that have been killed. Guess what? I shed tears for them. I can't, I can't only cry for myself and my brother. My brother's in the military, and I'm worried about him fighting for his life. But guess what? I'm even more worried now because of what's going on now. Because somebody will falsely identify him, and they won't know who he belongs to. That is my fear. And that is my fear for all of my brothers out here. Please, please guys, hold each other accountable, love each other. Continue to love each other, continue to hold each other up. Ladies, continue to encourage them to hold their heads high. And men, you do the same thing for the women. Now can everybody say, no justice, no peace? No justice, no peace. One more time, a little louder. No justice, no peace. All right, make some noise, y'all. Thank you all for coming out here, we're gonna wrap it up. When you leave here, please go home in peace. Be peaceful when you go home. Don't go out and start running the streets. Because you know what? This will have been for nothing. Please go in peace. Be safe. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart. Grab some water if you're thirsty. It's kind of hot out still. I'm a little hot myself. Come make a sign. Come sign this up here. We have another one that you can sign. But after that, please go home and be in peace. You come in peace, you leave in peace, all right? God bless y'all, make some noise.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Get home safely. We got we got 15 minutes to disperse safely. Everybody, go home, please. Thank you so much. So we clean up. Thank you so much. God bless.